and say I'm really sorry that I, for the lack of reviews. I didn't do one last week because I went to the beach. I wanted to, but I couldn't because the place I went to actually didn't have a movie theater, nor did I have any internet access. So I'm sorry for that. I've never been to this beach. Um, so yeah, so now I immediately got home. When I immediately got home that Saturday, I went to the movies, and now here I am reviewing. I'm the Slash Movie Reviewer, and I'm reviewing, cueing the new intro. Bet that intro is ten times better than the first intro, and twenty times better than that second intro. But, um, so... So I rise with the Planet of the Apes. We follow James Franco, who I'm a huge fan of. Ever since only 27 hours, I'm devoted to see every James Franco movie now. But uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes is um, follow James Franco. He's out t trying to cure Alzheimer's, and he's doing it by testing on chimps, monkeys, you know, apes. Eventually, um, there's this. I don't want to spoil him too much, but something happens, and he comes across this baby monkey and he names it Caesar and he, this monk this monkey is not like most he's smarter than most and you see that for sure his brain starts growing experimenting and he starts using this monkey and to help test to find the cures for Alzheimer's the, this film I loved it I thought it was a great movie it's definitely one it's definitely a good film to end the summer I'm going to miss, I think the summer was pretty darn good. I, it wasn't fantastic, but it was pretty good. Um, you know, there was, but basically, it's a great film in the summer. De I'll definitely check it out in the theaters because the directing and the CGI is flawless in this film. It is absolutely superb. And, I mean, there were times where I was looking at these CGI chimps and they, at times I was thinking, they, they look like apes. They really did look like apes. They did not look like CGI apes and stuff like that. But, um, I mean, it's crazy. And turns out Andy Sudeikis, Sudeikis, not Andy Sudeikis, I don't know. He did the, um, he did the Lord of the Rings. He's done a bunch of other films. He's in the upcoming Birkin Hare. Um, he, he is flawless. He is so fun to watch. He's playing the ape Caesar. So I was shocked by this film because I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of the Planet of the Apes. Honestly, because I haven't, I'm, I haven't seen the other films. I haven't seen the original, which this one is supposedly the prequel to. Uh, the only one I've really seen is the Tim Burton remake, and I try not to remember that film. So, yeah, I was kind of going in open-minded, not really know much, but I love this film. I definitely want to check out the original one now, check out the others. Um, but, um, yeah, Rise of the Planet Apes is a fantastic movie. I had so much fun watching this film. It, I, mean, I mean, the direction is so cool, especially with these apes when they're swinging through the trees, the camera's just... And I love that. I, when all... Especially towards the end when all the when the apes start losing control and stuff like that, um, you never lose sense of what's going on. You know, a lot of people have that problem with action flicks. Is you know, the, the camera's going all over the place. The camera stays where it needs to be, and I never lost sense. I knew exactly what was going on. I knew the apes. Some of the apes were here. Some of the apes were there. Some of the apes were there. I never lost sense. It never got chaotic. It was very smooth. It was fun. No headaches will, will be required. And I'm so glad the film was not presented in 3D. And there were a couple of shots that I was like, thank God they didn't post convert this thing. You know, I mean, and these apes are really smart. This film is so smartly written in so many ways. I mean, you know, these apes, they're, they're smart. I mean, I love the whole Alzheimer's thing. You know, it, it, this is a good film. I think a lot of people, even if you're not a Planet of the Apes man, you're going to come out and you're going to enjoy this. This is a, definitely a rebirth. Um, I would love to see a sequel to this. I thought the ending was great. I thought the beginning was great. I thought the whole movie was great. I really love the chemistry between James Franco and Caesar. 
Um, this, I really have no real flaws in the film. It's, it's an excellent film. I had a great time watching it. It's a great film in the summer off. Wonderful film. Love this movie. Definitely go check it out. Score wise, I'd have to give the film a four and a half out of five. It definitely leaves you wanting more, but in a good way. Definitely go check out Rise of the Apes. You'll have a good time. Pretty sure my hand wave movements throughout this video couldn't be big enough. <laughs> but, um, yep. I'm the Slasher Movie Reviewer, and you just been slashed.